article this week? Anybody read my article? You read it, mother? What you thought about it? Mama knows best. <laughs> he dropped that on me too. I said, okay, God, you can work with that. I said, I can work with that one, God. Yeah, 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 that was a good one. Yeah, yeah, he gave me that early too. Gave me time to write that one. <laughs> yes, Mama knows best, for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. Jacob, when you think your mama don't know, your mama knows best. Any, any, anybody can testify to that? Mm -hmm. Amen. Look back over your life and say, mama, you sure was right. <laughs> Yes, she I'm was. Glad you did what you did. Hey, I didn't understand it then, but I do now. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mothers are. Now y'all can finish that. Mothers are to you. You already know who your mama is. You already know the value of your mother. Again, there would not be mothers if it had not been for God. Genesis 2 and 22, it says, and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, who is the man? Adam, Adam, amen, was made he a woman and brought her unto the man. Genesis 3 and 20 says, and Adam called his wife name Eve because she was the mother of all living. Let the church say amen. Mm, amen. That was good to me right there when God dropped that on me. See, 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 that's what God will do. Amen. God will create something. Amen such as a woman and woman come out of man, not the other way, but out of man. This is the way that God created it. Amen. Only mothers can be a mother to all living. Amen. Well, only a mother. Mm -hmm. That's what God says right here. He, he, he taken uh, the, the rib from Adam. Mm -hmm. Say God did it. Amen. And he made he a woman, and he also took and gave the woman back unto the man. Here's the first he changed nugget for you. Mothers are a part of man. Man is a part of God. Y'all believe that? Mm -hmm. Yes. God created yes. man in man. his image. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you look at man, you see uh, God. When you look at uh, man, you see woman. Mm -hmm. We all a part of God's family. Uh, here's another nugget for you. Uh, the woman and the man was made or created by who? God. Mm. Now, now, we ain't dealt with the living things quite yet, but we're going to go there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, another nugget for you this morning is mothers are a gift from God. Yeah. Yes. Think about your mama. Think about what your mama has done for you down through the years. I, I had Brother Pete laughing because uh, her mother made some lunches and she didn't quite know she was feeding me too because I didn't have nothing to eat. And it was hot out there. Pete said, we better get with it. I said, I sure take me one. <laughs> They're a gift. When you don't even prepare for the next day or what you got going on, mother said, I got you covered. Don't worry about it. God already put it in me what you need. Yeah. See, when God took the rib out of man, out of Adam, he knew that it was going to be important for man to have the women that God has placed in our lives or what we like to call mothers. Amen. Today, as we celebrate Mother's Day, we understand that, it, that they were created by God. We understand that they are a gift from God. Amen. And we understand that mothers are part of man. Amen. Walls of uh, uh, chapter three of 20, verse 20 of, of Genesis says, and Adam called his wife Eve because she was the mother of all living things. Not, not just something, but all living. And that's interesting right there, that God will create everything, and he'd turn around and give it back to man and woman to have dominion over it. And then he would say, now you are the mother. Take care of my creation. Yeah, I love to say this. I preached a sermon way back when about a mother in Christ or a female parent. Y'all ever heard something like that right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You got such a thing that's called a mother in Christ because they're very nurturing. Now, now, a female parent is just the opposite. They they had them babies and they'll walk away. But we want to salute the mothers today. Amen, Well, Yeah, that you would take care of God's creation. Yeah, here's another uh, a nugget for you. Mothers are great caregivers. Mm -hmm. Now, God would create all living and then turn around and give it to the mother and say, take care of it. Now, now we understand this morning we learned that, that, that mothers will go way further than us men. Yeah, yeah, we're, we'll get to some point and the light be red and we'll stop. We won't go no further. But when those mothers see it, they keep right on going, giving, taking care of what God has placed before them. Have you ever been sick? You ever been injured? Hey, can you remember what your mama did? Your mama came and, and she made all things new. She came to your rescue. And you knew from that time that mama was there 
from the very beginning of your life. You think about it. Now, as you look at your life today and you celebrate your mother. Now, your mother may be long gone like mine, but I still celebrate her today. Amen. Because I remember the thing that she's done for me. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. She would always be right there mm, as a caregiver to take care of her baby. Yeah, I'm finna go. I'm, I'm, this is simple this morning. I'm telling you, this is simple. As you celebrate Mother's Day, you already know mothers are. Y'all got to fill that in. You got to fill that in for yourself. Amen. Thank you. Uh, 2 Kings 4 and 30. Now, this is an interesting story. You probably read it before. The mother of the lad said, as the Lord liveth and as yourself live, I will not leave you. And he arose and followed her. Then Gehazi passed on before them and, and, and laid the staff on the lad's face. But there was no sound or response. So he returned to meet him and told him the, the lad had not uh, uh, awakened. 32. When Elijah came into the house, behold, the lad was dead and laid on his bed. Look, on his bed. Y'all remember the story? Yeah, yeah. Now, now, this woman knew it was a great time, and she inquired not only of the Lord, because the Lord put it in her spirit, but she asked her husband, say, listen, we've been, we've been noticing this man of God. He's been coming by him about the same time every year. And he don't have a place to stay. Let's add on to the house. Now, that's what a mother do. Yeah, they'll, they'll consider some things. Yeah. Now, we ain't worried about the cost of lumber. Yeah, we're just going to do it because God say do it. Now, this is what they did. They laid the child in the man of God's bed. So he entered and shut the door behind him, behind them both and prayed to the Lord. 34. And he went up and laid on the child and put his mouth on his mouth, his eyes on his eyes, his hands on his hands. And he stretched himself on him and the flesh of the child became warm. Hey, God. I'm talking about a mother saying, wait a minute, wait now, you couldn't have got to this point. The man of God, did not, he did not know what was going on because God had not revealed to him that the child had then crossed over on the other side. But even in the midst of this, this mother said, that ain't bothering me. I got to go find me some help for my baby. That's what a mother do. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can be down and out. You can be the worst of them all. They still coming. Y'all know it to be true. They, listen, some of us, uh, uh, <laughs> we, we push our mother a little bit too far. No, I'm going to say it like that. I'm going I'm to say the clean version. <laughs> Yet they still right there. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. 35 says, then he returned, walked in the house, once back and forth, and went up and stretched himself on him, and the lad sneezed seven times, and the lad opened his eyes. He called Gehazi and said, call the shooter, Mike. So he called her. And when she came unto him, he said, take up your son. Then she went in and fell, on his, fell at his feet and bowed herself to the ground. And she took up her son and went out. Somebody say went out. So now what went does out. that do with Mother's Day, Pastor Cooper? I'm glad you asked me. Amen. As you're saluting your mother today, we understand that this child uh, had had fallen to his death, amen, that he has, the spirit, his spirit had left his body, but this mother was not upset, she was not angry, she just knew it was time to move from where she was, she done did all she can do, mm -hmm. but she said, listen, I got to find the man of God, at this point, she listened, she said, listen, I heard about this time you're going to be in this area, so I'm going to go for myself, Mm, she said, as she reached the man of God, she said, listen, I am not going to leave. I'm going to rap with you. As long as you're alive, I will be rap with you. See that right there? And he arose and followed her. Actually, the man of God, Elijah, tried to get his servant, Gehazi, to go and, and take care of some business. But she said, listen, that ain't good enough for me. That's what a mama do. Mm, yeah. A mama's a very persistent. We learned that this morning, did we not? Yeah. Mm, yeah. As long as the Lord liveth. And you yourself, I would not leave you. That's what mamas would do. Mamas would stick with us no matter what we do. Hey, good God Almighty. All that say, that still is my baby. Yeah, even though he ain't on. <laughs> I ain't said, y'all. I ain't said nothing. That's still my baby. Huh? That's still my baby. Here's another nugget for you right here. Mothers know how to find the right resources. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. Well, see, now, well, sometimes we got we, we got blinders on our eyes, us men. But mothers, listen, they know exactly where to go and where to get it from. This is what this woman did right here. This, this Shudamite woman, she say, listen, I done went as far as my pay grade could go. I know I can't go any further. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go find the man of God. Yay! Listen, Gehazi passed on before them. This is the instructions that the man of God gave his servant. Take my staff, lay it on the land. Let's see what he did right there. Mm -hmm. But there was no sound. I didn't read anything where he told him to come back and give me a report, but he decided to do it anyway. That's all right. Mm -hmm. So he returned and met him and told him that the lad had not awakened. In other words, he didn't say the child was dead. He just said he was asleep. Thank you, Father. He was asleep, even though he was graveyard ready. He didn't say he was. He said he's asleep. He's not awakened. When Elijah came into the house, behold, the lad was dead and laid on his bed. Uh, that mother said, listen, I, I know that right now I got the right resources. I'm going to find the man of God. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay him in your bed. Uh, I'm going to put him up under that anointing, that covering. That's what a mama do. Mama said, listen, I'm going as far as I can go. My heart is broken, but I'm going to take him to Jesus. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, the closest thing I can get to Jesus is the man of God, Elijah. She says, that's good enough for me right now. Mm, but I know you can get a prayer through. That's what a mama do. They are called those prayer warriors when they're going through. And they say, hey, listen, I need you to help me pray. Yeah, I got something on my heart this morning that I need to hear from heaven. Mothers are great prayer warriors, aren't they? Woo, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, way in the midnight hour that when you sleeping, mothers be up praying and, and wailing for you, asking God to save my baby. Mm. I remember my mama telling me one time before she got out, she said, I ain't got to worry no more. I said, what you talking about, mama? She said, I ain't got to worry no more. God got you now. Mm, yeah. Mothers know exactly what to do and when to do it. Yeah. The child was laying in the man of God's bed. He, he was laying upon that fire, that anointing. We all desire to be filled with the presence of God. Yeah. Yeah, that mother said, listen, mm, I can see it all in you, Elijah. I can see the Lord working miracles through you. I can see God walking with you. I'm going to trust what God is doing in your life. I know God can raise my child. I don't know how he's going to do it. I ain't even asking you to do it. I just know you're going to do something. Mm, that's what mothers do. They, they're great. They can find resources. Listen, they can find something out of nothing. Listen, you can be down to your last little bit of nothing. You walk in the house like, Mama, where you get all this from? Well, I had it. God provided it. That's what they'll do. That's what y'all been doing for a long time. 33 says, so he entered and shut the door behind them and prayed. Who he prayed to? He prayed to the Lord. I, she, listen, I, I think that's all she really wanted. She wanted somebody to join forces with her, join faith with her, and call down the fire from heaven and ask God to intervene on her son's behalf. Yeah, and that's the love we can see in the mothers today. Amen. Hallelujah. You can be at your worst point in your life. Here it is. Mama's still going to pray for you. Mm, thank you, Jesus. We need a praying mother today. Don't we all? Mm. He shut the door. He said, listen, Mama, can you wait outside? I, I got to go talk to the Lord. She she would listen. She said, do what you need to do, man of God. My house is your house. Yay! Good God Almighty. He shut the door behind them and wasn't nobody in there but him, the power of God, and the child who was not moving. And he began to seek the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And he went up and laid. He got instruction from God. Say, go up and lay on him. Now, that right there is interesting all by itself right there. I'm quite sure if that mother, that Shulamite woman would have saw this, she'd probably been asking questions. What are you doing, man of God? Why are you doing that? But she wasn't in there. The man of God had free course to obey God. And he laid on top of the child. He put mouth to mouth. Now, that right there is some good resuscitation right there. Amen. What y'all call it? What? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. CPR. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Mm, first CPR. Yeah, yeah. If you ever want a class, they go to class right there. Mm. You want to learn how to do it. First thing you need to do is call on the Lord. Yeah. Get instruction from God and then obey God. He laid on the child. He put his mouth to his mouth, his eyes to his eyes, his hands to his hands. Hey, he stretched himself on him and the flesh of the child became warm. Thank you, Jesus. Time began to change. That's what a mother do. A mother would go to no end for her child. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. That's what a mother do. They're, listen, they're there. When they get the resources, they'll be willing to accept what God is going to do in their life. Thank you, Jesus. Then he returned. Ah, the man of God said, listen, I know you're warm now. I can feel the coldness leaving your body, and I can feel the blood begin to flow back in your body. He got off the child. He walked back and forth. He said, okay, God, what you want me to do now? Good God Almighty. Hey, thank you, Jesus. I'm talking about resources. Hey, mm, yeah, what God has given you this morning. What are you doing with the resources that God has given you, mothers? Hey, don't tell God what you don't have. Tell him what you do have. Don't tell him how little you do have or uh, how little much you do have, but tell him, say, listen, great is much in the master's hand. I can have two fish and five loaves of bread. We can move this mountain and move and feed this multitude. 
Thank you, Jesus. He returned and walked in the house mm -hmm, once back and forth and went up and stretched himself on him. And the lad sneezed seven times. Yeah, we got a little movement now. Mm, yeah, he ain't walk outside and tell the, the, the Shulamite woman the good news. Not quite yet. Nah, the child began to move and sneeze. Uh, and the lad opened his eyes. Now nah, he's alive. Life doesn't come back at him. He said, okay, now it's time. Get his eye. I need you to go and get that Shulamite. Call up. So he called us. And when she came into him, he said, take up your son. Here you go. Hey, you want me to call on the name of Jesus Christ? And just what I did, I called him and God answered. Hey, thank you, Father. That's what your mothers are today. Mm -hmm. When they call on God, God not only hears them, he answers them. Hey, he sends a favor. I hear you, Lord, a favorable report. That's what he does. Thank you, Jesus. And that's what God will do. Thank you, Father. Shoot him back. Here go your baby. They don't give her a name. They just call where she's from to shoot him back. So he said, here go your baby. Come and get little Johnny. He's ready to go back outside and go to work. Put him back to work, mama. Put him back to work. Yeah. Teach him how to pray, mama. Teach him how to fast. Teach him how to seek your face. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Then she went in and fell at his feet and bowed herself to the ground. And she took up her son and went out. Mm, I'm gone. I'm going to leave you alone this Mother's Day as you celebrate your mothers today. Mothers are game changers. That's a nugget for you right there. Yeah, they'll turn that thing around right there. Listen to him. I'm cold graveyard dead. I'm ready to go. My mama said, listen here, I need to call on the man of God. And that thing turned around. That's what we need today. Yeah, when things are graveyard ready mm, in our lives, if you look back, you see that mama won't accept that. She won't. Mm, I'm talking about a game changer. That's what I'm talking about. I ain't talking about a game changer that plays video games. I'm talking about a game changer that call on the name of Jesus. I don't care what it looked like, mama say, I'm going to call on my God. Mm, it can be broken. It can be just like shattered and, and all into pieces. But I know God will restore if I can believe it, yeah, and I can speak to this mountain, it shall be removed. It should be cast in the sea. All I need not do is doubt. Mm, I'm talking about a game changer. That's what your mothers are today. Mm, they understand that, listen, it doesn't matter to them. They won't accept nothing but what God has said. They understand the power of prayer and persistence. That's what your mother have been doing for a long time. Mm. Being very persistent with God. God, listen, I ain't going to turn my back. God, I ain't going to stop. I'm going to keep praying until I see my change. I'm going to keep praying, God, until you answer my prayer. I don't care what it look like in the natural eyes, in the spirit realm. I know, God, you're going to hear my prayer. Mm, yeah, you're going to send the increase. Thank you, Jesus. Number two, mothers are tough. Y'all got that this morning. That's what I put. I put that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking, listen, they better than tough. They, they tougher than the postmaster. That's what I put. Yeah. Say it, it can be cold. It can be raining outside. It can be sneak. It can be snow. They still come. It don't matter. They're going to call on the name of Jesus Christ. Mothers can't be stopped. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, they always on time. That's what they do. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember one time I got in trouble. Mm, I ain't going to tell them, Pete, I got in real trouble. And I got on the phone. He said, I ain't going nowhere. I'm said, I'm going to get my baby. He said, what you want to say? Mother's tough. They're always on time. Yeah, that's what they do. Listen, we thank God for our mothers. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, not only will they take action, not only are they persistent. Yes, they are very tough. I'm not talking about like tough. You can't pull them apart. Tough. I'm talking about tough that they go through. It, it really don't matter. If you can think about the worst thing, your mama's still coming. Thank you, Jesus. They coming. I put this one down to mothers take action. That's what this shooter might woman did. She took action. She said, listen, I ain't going to sit here and call for the professional whalers. I don't need nobody to get in my ear and tell me, oh, I'm so sorry for you. Your baby go. She said, I'll be back. Let me go get the man of God. Let me go get somebody who can change my situation. That's what mother's been doing for a long time. Taking action. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, that's what that shooter might woman did. She didn't wait on the Uber. If she'd have been waiting on the Uber, she'd probably still be waiting right now. Mm, yeah, if she was waiting on the taxi, she'd probably don't even have them no more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she'd still be waiting on taxes. Uh, so she took action. She said, listen, I may not have no gas and I may not have no donkey, but I got my feet. I'm going to get my, I'm going to get my baby some help. That's what y'all been doing for a long time. Y'all take actions, and we thank God for you. She went and found some help for her baby. Listen, she found it through the man of God. She saw God in the man of God and knew that God was with the man of God. Hey, can you see the man of God? Can you see God in anybody today? You better call on him. Hey, I don't know what you're going through this morning, but God will send you some help. It's right there in plain sight. You better take action. That's what God is telling you this morning.
Yeah. Not only that, mothers accept their role, uh huh, their responsibility. I heard somebody say that on online this morning about my mother. Yeah, we accept our role. We don't need to be in front of nobody trying to prove ourselves to nobody. Y'all know, y'all will get back and sit in the corner, won't open your mouth and say right there until God make room for your gift. And then when you start speaking, they see all that power, that Holy Ghost in you. Well, I didn't know that was all in you. Yeah, I guess you didn't because you was blinded. Yeah, I can accept my role. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to tell you who I am. God will let you know who I am. I am. Uh, God will let you know. Hey, thank you, Jesus. They are very responsible. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. They respect their role and their responsibility. Yes, they understand the power of taking actions. They understand the power of staying in their role. Yes, I don't need to be no man. I don't need to act like no man because I'm not a man. I am a woman. Even though God had taken me out of man, I'm still a woman. That's what y'all are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't got to dress up and act like no man because you already know you're not a man. You ain't got to talk like no man because you already know. I can accept my role. I'm a woman. I'm a helpmate unto man. Hey, I'm not subservient to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when he say jump, I ain't going to jump. I heard somebody talk about that this morning. Amen. Listen, that's what we are. That's where we are today. Yeah. When mothers have accept their role and their responsibility, they understand the power of just being persistent and caring and sharing and being who they are. Yes. Being supporters. That's what you do. Being the best chili. That's what you've been doing for a long time. Mothers are great listeners. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Even as this Shulamite woman began to receive instructions from the man of God, she was listening to every word that God was saying through the man of God. And that's what you've been doing all these years, mother. Now, the Lord told me to tell you that quality, that gift come from him. Mm, your God is a great listener. Every time you call on him, what he does, he hears you. Mm, you can make your bed in hell. God can still hear you right where you are. Y'all know it to be true. You can get in the most trouble you want to get into. God is still right there listening. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Mm, when your heart is heavy, God say, I'm still listening. When your heart is light, he say, I'm still listening. That's what mothers are. They're great listeners. We can cast all of our cares and our burdens into our mothers because they're going to take them to Jesus when we don't know how to take them to Jesus. That's what y'all been doing, mothers. We salute you this morning. That gift, that quality, it comes from God. Mothers are thankful. Mm, do I have any thankful mothers in the house? Yeah, you'll take that little bit that God has given you. He said, God, I thank you. I may not have what I want, but I got what I need. Uh, thank you, Jesus. My cup may not be running over, bounce if you like the world think it is, but I got what I need. I'm thankful. Mm, he said, if you're faithful over a few things, it makes you rulers over, over much. Mm, yeah, being thankful. That's what you have been for a long time. I'm gone, mothers. I'm going to leave you alone. You better celebrate yourself if man don't celebrate you. You better celebrate who God is in your life. You better tell your father, I thank you, Lord. Thank you for keeping my mind when my mind almost wanted to go. Mm, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, when the devil wanted to take my mind. I'm grateful to you, Father, that you poured out your anointing on me, God. Hallelujah. Thank you. I'm not only serving you because you blessed me with bread. I'm serving you, God, because I love you. I thank you for saving my soul. You've been there for a long time, mothers. Thank you, Father. And you don't necessarily have to give birth. If, 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 if Eve was mother over all, you can be also. Yeah. You Listen, in the community, you've been mothers. You've sheltered other people's children, your nieces, your nephews, your, your cousins. You know how to do it. Being thankful that God has placed somebody in your life. Mothers are dependable. Yeah, yeah. Y'all know that to be very true, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, you can stump your mother's toe. Go back right back. A few minutes later, she's going to be right there. Mm -hmm. She's very dependable. Yes, she is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, I put this in. This is the last one for you. Mm -hmm. They prepare great meals. Yeah, good God Almighty. Yeah, amen. Well, y'all know it to be true. Mothers prepare great meals. We get to the dinner table and say, oh, mama, I'm grateful for this. I was hungry. Thank you for thinking about me. That hit me last night that I was about to go to bed. I said, oh, that's a good one, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what mothers do. And also, they'll watch you eat and be hungry. They'll give you your last. As long as you eat, they satisfy. Yeah, they go to bed many nights not having enough in their stomach to eat and get up and work all day and come back and do it all over again. They prepare great meals. So this Mother's Day, and I'm out your way. You may be a Proverbs 31 mother today. We salute you. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Yeah, salute yourself. Celebrate yourself. 
being a righteous woman of God. You may be a mother as Hannah as you gave your child back unto the Lord. Yeah, we salute you today, mothers. There's a lot of great characters, characteristics of you that God has placed in you, and we thank God for you. You have shown us how to worship God in spirit and in truth. Yeah, it may take some of us longer. Now, now, now I was the last one to come in. I hear the Lord saying that. Now, some of us may take a little longer to come in, but that's all right. Mm, you still gave him back. He is, Lord. You gave him to me. I'm going to give him back to you. You, you gave it to me, God. I'm going to give it back to you. Hey, this is what Hannah did. This may be you today. We salute you. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. As, as Hannah said, listen, Lord, you gave this child to me. I'm going to give him back to you to worship. Yeah. Mm. As long as he lived. Yes. That's what she told the Lord. She was praying. God gave her that child. And because of that gift, he said, I'm going to give him back to you. He belongs to you. You've been doing that a long time, mothers. Don't stop. Amen. And as Samuel went before the Lord, we know Brother Eli being, a, being at the house of God, we understand that story too. But this, this is another nugget for you. Mothers are givers. Yes. That's what y'all been doing a long time. Y'all been giving. Keep on giving. How about this one? In Ruth, Naomi, and Oprah. Huh? That's a great story right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. As Naomi said, listen, he, she's telling her two daughter-in-law, you need to go back and be with your mother. Ah, she said, uh, may the Lord deal kindly with you as you have dealt with the dead and with me. Yeah, but they didn't want to go. Y'all know the story. They stood right there with us and said, no, nah, we're going with you. Uh, listen, uh, Naomi, uh, Ruth say, listen, I'm going to go with you. But uh, Oprah say, listen, I will. I got to go on and, and I'm going to see what my end going to be over there. But Ruth say, listen, I'm staying wherever you go. I'm going to go. You have been pouring into God's people. This is my point. You have been pouring into God's people. Keep on doing what God has called you to do this Mother's Day as we celebrate you. Amen. This is not the end. This is just the beginning. Hey, God will give you a new mission, Mother. I hear the Lord saying that he'll give you a new mission. It never ceases. It just keep on growing and growing and growing. God has placed so much great wealth in you that you can give it to somebody. Amen. Give it to some child. Yeah. The Lord say, go volunteer. Yeah. Go on the corner and say, listen, can I help you? What can I do for you? Y'all know how to do it. So be encouraged this Mother's Day. You may be a mother. You don't see where God can use you. I stop by to tell you God can use you right where you are. You're still a mother. You are a mother of all living creation that God has created. It may not be your biological child, amen, but God will have somebody that you can pour into, amen, that he has poured into you that you can give somebody's child, amen. So be encouraged today as we salute your mothers, amen, in the house and on Zoom and those that's going to see this broadcast. We salute you today, this Mother's Day, amen. You're more than just mothers, amen. There's a lot that God has placed in you that you can give someone else. All heads bow. All eyes are closed. As you're finding yourself today in the, in the scriptures that God has shared with us, you're wondering, how did you make it to where you are? You made it by the grace of God. You made it because somebody poured into you. Yes, yes. You made it because God sees worth in you and that he can use you for the kingdom right where you are today. All we can say is, Father, thank you. Thank you for choosing me, God. Yes, God. I want to be dependable, God. I want you to be able to count on me, Father. Yes. I want to do what you call me to do for the kingdom. Yes. I'm listening, God. Tell me my responsibility. Give me my role today, Father. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to take action. Talk to him. Have a good talk with him. You may be just like this Sudamite woman. You may be standing and your child, your earthly child may be gone. Maybe. But God still can use you for the kingdom. You're tough. Yes, you can handle it. Talk to your father about that today. You already know you're a game changer. You don't take no for an answer. Thank you, Jesus. You pray just as the man of God prayed. God is listening. and He's ready to give you instructions today. You're more than mothers. You're a child of God. You belong to the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Thank you, Father, and we salute you. Come on, he changed men online and in the house. Help me salute our mothers today. Come on, raise a great big hallelujah and salute our mothers today. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Mother. Yeah, hallelujah. raise a great big hallelujah. Unto hallelujah. The they couldn't do it without hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. 
we salute them today and we thank God for Hallelujah. them for being the mothers, mothers that they are in our lives. Hallelujah. Be encouraged today, mothers. We love you. We want the best for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Go with God's grace, go with his mercy, and go with his peace. Amen. Your Hallelujah. God will never leave you or forsake you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he loves you unconditionally. Amen. And he will not, he will not put no more on you than you can bear. He's with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you and we love you. Thank you for allowing us to celebrate our mothers today, God. Thank you for allowing them to be a part of our lives. Thank you for pouring into them, God, giving us exactly what we need when we need it. Thank you for allowing them to show us you how to seek you in this season. We thank you, Lord. And we bless you for it. And we praise you for it. We ask that you keep them, God. Keep them in the hollow of your hand, God, as you begin to pour out that anointing upon them, God. As you use them for the kingdom, God. Bless them only you can and only you will, Father. We celebrate them, God, because first they came from you. They come through man. They come from you, God. And we celebrate them today. We love you and we thank you and we praise you and we bless you. It's in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.